Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I have my February makeup basket recap for you guys. I changed out the products on the 1st of March and it's now a couple of days later. It's like the 4th when I'm filming this. Um, so I've had the products I've changed out in a basket so just give me a minute, bear with me. <laughs> Um, let's just get started on the products I had in my makeup basket for February. I had three primers, the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer. This is getting pretty low, I think. Um, I'm starting to get to like struggling, there's an air bubble in there as well. I'm struggling to start getting product out of this, so not sure how much longer I'll have this in my collection. But I quite enjoy it. Then we have the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer that is in my Full Face Project pen. Again, not much left in this one. Can't wait to finally see this move out. If you saw my Full Face Project pen, I was like, there has to be like only a month left in this, like barely, because it's just air. But the way I store it, like the product's all down the bottom here. So, And the last product I had, the foundation, not foundation, primer I had, wow, Hannah, was the Super Glory One Heck of a Blot Instant Power per, Instant Perfecting Power Primer. Again, I really like this one. I've actually popped this in a project. This is in my one month one Sailor Senshi project pan. So obviously, I like it enough if I want to pop it in a project to use up. Um, I wish we could get a hold of Soap and Glory products in Australia. So. Then we had my foundations. I had the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I used up. It was in my Full Face Project pan. And then I had two other foundations. I was using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I really, this used to be, used to be, yeah, I'm saying that, my Holy Grail Foundation combination. I loved it so much. But I've actually really, this month, enjoyed wearing the Pro Longwear Foundation with the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation in Fair. Just a lighter layer of this with a bit of this gives me a really nice finish on the skin. You can really build this up to be looking too cakey, so I would say be careful with it. But I really liked how my foundation and base looked this month. Um, this was like completely new and I'm probably down to about here and there. And the custom cover you can't actually see. The Celebration Foundation I wanted to use in summer because once it gets cooler and I lose the little bit of colour I do have, which yes, this is me with a little bit of colour, um, this gets really dark on me. And I did definitely make a lot of progress on it. Um, it's definitely got a good dip in it. You can feel the dip in it. Don't know if you can see the dip in it. But I used it quite a bit. I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, but it's time to... Go back to my collection for a month. The other face product that I was kind of unsure of how I would feel when I popped it in this month's basket was the it Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi face palette. I'm just not a fan of face palettes for me. Um, I don't really reach for them. So it was really good that I had it in my monthly makeup basket because I reached for this mostly when I was using the Double Wear so I could set with this powder which is the Bye Bye Bore Pores Translucent Pressed Powder and then when I had this out I'd use the whole palette. So I'd bronze all over the face with the Sunshine in a Compact in Warmth and then contour with my Hula Bronzer which is here if you want to see the progress on that look go and watch my Full Face Project pen. I'd add a little bit of the Bye Bye Pores blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi to my NARS Deep Throat blush. Again, if you want to see the progress on that, check out the Full Face Project Pan update. And then this highlighter, this is the Perfect Lighting Luminizer in Je Ne Sais Quoi. This is really nice. It's very subtle. It's very much a sheeny kind of highlight, which compared to the other highlighters I had in here this month was... A nice change, but I could also then layer one of those highlighters on top and it looked really nice. So I do, I am really glad I kept this. I got this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag and I'm glad I kept it. I do think it has its purpose in my collection. 
Let's talk about those other highlighters I was mentioning. We have the Laura Geller Peach Glow Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. Definitely got some use. You can kind of see in the center rings wearing down there. I love this highlighter, but it's definitely something that again, once it cools down, I can't really wear because it is that very kind of peachiness. But it doesn't have a lot of back pigment but it has a little bit. So that's it blended out. I love this highlighter. Super glad I picked it up in the States. Yeah, I just love the reflectiveness it gives to the skin. It pairs really well with that It Cosmetics highlighter. And then if I wanted a more neutral highlighter, the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Beige. Again, I kind of was able to use a little bit of this kind of all mixed together to give me kind of a goldy highlight in when I was at my darkest but I obviously most of the time stand, tend to stick to these two top ones which gives you more of a light gold but I do I really like that highlighter it is something that you need a really dense brush to pick up just because the way it's packed and if you feel it is a really dry texture which is really strange but it applies beautifully I've been using my um, Real Techniques 300 brush. I know this is meant to be for um, blush, but it's super dense and tapered. So you just kind of those top fibers and then buff it onto the skin. Beautiful. So let's move to cheeks. Let's go back to base because I'm all over the place today. I used up my Tarte um, Smooth Operator Powder, again, in my Full Face Project pan. And then the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Extra Light Peach is also finished up, also in that project. I had the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in 1C Light. If you want to see the progress on this, check out that video. I'll tell you what I used up, but I won't show you progress on other things. And then the other concealer I had in there was the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Look, I got a decent amount of use out of this. It is on its side. Um, so it does have a lot of the product to the side there. I really like this concealer. I'm in the shade NW20 because NC NW15 was way too light on me, even though that's what I wear in the foundation, is NW15. I don't know why the concealer I prefer the darker shade in. I don't know. I really like it. Um, but yeah, time to try to play with some new concealer this month. The last cheek product I have in here because I can't, oh no, two. I used up the Cover FX Click Stick in Bubbly as my cream highlight. And then a, the other cheek product I had in here was the MAC See Me, Hear Me Extra Dimension Blush. Now I definitely didn't get as much use out of this this month as I thought I would. Um, it ended up being a lot warmer this month. Then it usually is in February. Usually we get so much rain in February and it's just cold and dreary and you think summer's left a month early. Summer stuck around for the whole of February. So as I was saying before, my memory card filled up on me. It just wasn't the weather to wear this kind of blush, so I'll definitely pull it out again in the cooler month. But this is just, I love this blush so much. And it's getting really old, I know, but I just, I can't part with it because it just does something amazing to the skin. I love it. Moving on to eyes, obviously I, if you saw my empties, I used up my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, pencil um, part way through February, so I threw it in the Napoleon Pertis Eye Pencil in, Eyebrow Pencil in Pale Rider. To go along with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, which I have in my Full Face Project pan. Still going strong on my Benefit Gimme Brow. Won't be too much longer though. The two Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks are still in here. I finished up Copper though. Um, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And then for mascara, I had... The NYX Skinny Mascara, that was total bull and I couldn't stand it, so I threw that out. 
I had the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara, which when I first opened this, it was so, it's still really wet. I've had this open for a month and it's still a really wet mascara, so I feel like I can get more than three months out of this. Um, but it was so wet when I first opened it that I had to go and open up my, because I'd you, go and use the, this and then the skinny mascara and then my eyes that day were just, so I went and opened up my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. This again is a wetter formula, but it's nothing like this. And I can use this straight one opened. Um, and then I have my MAC In Extreme Dimension Lash. I like this mascara to separate. I don't like it for anything else except my bottom lashes and to separate either of these two if I go too hardcore. But these are obviously sitting around for another one. Um, what is next? Eyeshadows, obviously had my Too Faced Chocolate Bar and my Laura Pro palette. If you want to see the progress on them, check out my Full Face Project Pan video. And then the two supplementary palettes I had were the Color Grain Queen of Hearts palette and the Balms Meat Matte Tremoni palette. I love this palette so much. I did the every, sh every shadow in a palette video with this. I've worn it multiple times. The metallics in here are just to die for. They're absolutely stunning. Um, Royal Highness, I think it looks really cool toned in the pan, but it's just this, it ends up being like this rosy bronze. It is absolutely stunning. I know everyone says this is such an incredible palette, but it really is. You can get everyday wearable looks out of this. You've got your neutrals, but then you've got your purpley tones to add a little bit of fun as well. I love this palette so much. I'm so sad that I have to put it away, um, but I love this. Meet Matrimony. I'm on the fence about this palette. I got rid of my other palette that happened to look quite a lot like this palette. It was the Tarte Tartlet palette. And I definitely prefer this over the Tartlet palette. But I just don't reach for this. <laughs> I really don't. I The shades I love most are this, well, this shade here, Matt Kumar, is my favorite shade in this palette. But I have that colour in my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, in my Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. And I just really don't see the point of keeping this palette when I don't reach for it. I did wear it once this month when I wanted to use a Stila glitter and I just wanted the mattes of this. but. I'm not in love with this palette and I'm at the stage where if I don't love something in my collection, I'm going to give it to someone else to love. So, I'm going to declutter that palette. The other eye products I had in here were my L'Oreal Infallibles that were in my Project Progress. Partway through the month, they just started irritating my eyes and I couldn't deal with it, so I threw them out, as well as the Kat Von D, um, Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lovecraft. It had just dried out to the point where I couldn't wear it. So those got thrown out. The NARS Velvet Lip Liner in El Agua is finished up. If you guys saw my Full Face Project pan. Still working on my Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. And then obviously the lip products that have been in my Project Progress um, and Project Pan. Too Faced Melted Chihuahua. I really like this. I found I use this a lot as kind of the first lip color. I put this on, I line my lips and then I put this on first thing in the morning when I'm doing my makeup. And then either I'll add something on straight away once this dries down a little bit or I'll just pop a gloss on with it. And then I'll reapply, Depend. I'll touch up with throughout the day. I was using the um, Cap and D for a little bit. But either the, if I'm going more nude, if I want more nude lip, I'd use the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. If I want a bit more colour, the Clinique Plum, Plop, Plum Pop Lipstick. St 
still have my matte cream chin gloss in Nutty and Naughty. I've decided I'm going to pop this by my bed to use because the MAC cream sheen glass in Softly Lit lives in my purse so I don't need two glosses in my purse when this is such a neutral gloss so so that is it for the products I had in my February makeup basket we're into March and I'm gonna film my March makeup basket right now for you guys so that will be up on Friday stay tuned um but yes Give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Comment down below how you've gone and what you're enjoying in from your monthly makeup baskets. If you do them and if you do videos, let me know. Click subscribe to stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.